This is an example of an indefinite integral. So you know you're looking at an indefinite integral when you do not have any bounds on your integral symbol there. So this is the indefinite integral of e to the 9x dx. So remember that that integral symbol up in front is just directions telling you to take the antiderivative of this equation. And then the dx is also directions just telling you what variable you care about. To take the antiderivative of e to the x, this is what I refer to as a special case situation. So special cases are antiderivatives that you just have to have memorized. Um, just like when you were working with derivatives, there were certain things you just had to have memorized, like the derivatives of sine and cosine and the derivative of e. These were things that you just had to know. And so now that we're doing antiderivatives, guess what? You've got to memorize those going the other direction. So we got to memorize these special cases going the other way for antiderivatives. So what we're looking at right now is the special case for e. So if I have the antiderivative of e to a number times x dx, I'm going to tell you right now, memorizing this form with that number in there will make this a heck of a lot easier on you on a ton of different problems. So the antiderivative of this always works out to be 1 over whatever that number is, and then the e to the ax just stays the same. And then we always put, when we're talking about indefinite integrals, a plus c at the end. So applying that special case to our situation, our a value, our number in front of x is 9. So we're going to start off with 1 over 9, and then the e to the 9x stays the same, and then we're going to put a plus c at the end, like we do on every indefinite integral, because we get out a family of solutions. So all of them look the same, except they vary by this constant at the end there. We don't know what that constant is, because the constant of any value would have been 0. So we just track the fact that there could have been a constant there by always putting this plus c. So that our antiderivative, our indefinite integral for this problem, looks like that. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please click that like button and subscribe. And also share it with your friends and anyone else you know who might be crying about an upcoming AP Calc test. You can find more videos from me, more sample AP Calc questions, and my complete AP Calc study guide over at my website, apcalcprep.com. Have a great one.